You really have to elevate your game. You're working among the best, you have to be the best. Let me introduce you to a program that for 100 years has made a difference. Passion from the word go. And we're able to do things that other centers can't. We have one of the best balanced departments, not in the country, but in the world. It's instant recognition wherever you go. We are Michigan trained surgeons, and that carries a lot of history and a lot of value. People know that when you've been here, been trained here, you have something special. The traditions, the excellence, nothing like it. In a, in a legacy institution. The need to do everything perfectly, I think, was etched very clearly on all of us. You know, if I've ever thought of leaving this institution, any other place I look at, it's like going to the minor leagues. Working with people who are the best and the brightest really push you on a daily basis. So it's not just A and B, it's A, B, C, D, all come together and just really make something very remarkable, really remarkable. Doctor's a Latin word, and in Latin, it means teacher. And uh, boy, I had some, I had some real doctors teaching me here. Our faculty get so excited when people have such great successes, you know, when there's a little kid who, who successfully makes it through a surgery and can get back to being a little kid. Uh, it's personal in a lot of ways. I would feel incredibly sad if anything bad happens to them. Oh, it has a huge amount of pressure what you do. Uh, you can see what we do. It's in the face. Um, and then I've also seen um, faculty become really emotional and, and spend time with patients who are really struggling with what they have. One of the patients I've had the privilege to treat is uh, the mother of 22 adopted children. And uh, she's now had cancer three times. And her request of me is just keep me alive long enough so I can raise my last child. I think that the moment that you protect yourself from emotionally, from the treatment you give you, to your patients, you become insensitive to them. So no, I don't protect myself at all. It gives you a huge sense of satisfaction when you're able to turn somebody around in a very positive way and restore their life, both aesthetically and functionally. That is, as we call it, catch me out. That keeps you going and going and going. actually working on a special type of scaffold and a mineral coating uh, that was found to induce uh, regular stem cells to turn into bone forming cells. This could potentially mean that we don't have to harvest bone from their hip or from their rib and something that really could make a huge difference for our patients. This is something that could be 3D printed to really take on basically the shape of any defect we're trying to reconstruct for an even better uh, contour to their face. Very few facilities can actually uh, talk to talk and also walk to walk, so to speak. We have a, what's called a GMP, good manufacturing practice facility here within our department. That's incredibly unique. And that we're actually making tissue in our laboratory from individuals, own cells, and then expand it, amplify it, and create a larger base of material that we can put back into their own body. We're creating new possibilities in surgery because of the research being done here at University of Michigan. Constantly we have evolved to be bigger, to be stronger. To being at an institution like the University of Michigan, whose mission is to be the leaders and the best, um, involves at a necessity applying new technology, innovating this technology so that we can really offer the best possible care. We want to be the best at what we do. So many leaders out of the University of Michigan. It takes a team a team functioning at the best possible, highest possible level in the world. You can't be an A-level surgeon with B-level people around you. There's a huge team involved in 
being what we are today. Our alumni, faculty and the residents, the staff, individuals that offer support to the program. That team is what has made us what we are today. But I don't think that team is interested in just being something, even if it's been for a hundred years. Imagine the best candidate for residency in the nation. Where does that best student go? When it comes down to it, at the end of the day, I, I couldn't imagine myself anywhere else. The best student goes to the best training program. I went to a number of different places all across the country, and uh, I really found myself comparing every program to this program. You know, it's not until you look beyond Michigan that you realize just exactly how fortunate we are. Nobody impressed me as much as this program has. This program is one of very few, I think, that actually has uh, phenomenal resources in all aspects. I think every day we're really thankful for all of the resources that Michigan it's has. It's the facilities, it's the faculty, it's the, it's the staff that's with us, it's the patient population that we treat, it's the university atmosphere. And getting the wide scope of having surgical ICU training, medical ICU training, trauma ICU training, burn ICU training helps out tremendously. The individuals in our department have a national and international reputation. The research aspect where we have, you know, world-renowned researchers. And, and this attracts a high-quality individual. The University of Michigan wants that person who doesn't see the residency as an endpoint, but is really a catalyst to something so far greater. Twenty years ago, I sat in a room and realized that uh, my dream of training and living in Southern California for the rest of my life was about to be shattered. Uh, and there was only one thing uh, that could have done that. It was a room at the Holiday Inn uh, and I was surrounded by the greatest faculty um, that I could have ever possibly imagined. You get up every day thinking that this is what I want to do. I can't wait to get to work to take care of people. Then you should be at a place like the University of Michigan. Now that word go blue when you do it with your colleagues and friends is truly just a feeling that makes you prickle all over the place. I can think of Michigan being number one. I'm trying to think who would possibly be number two. It is spiritual, it's emotional, it's intellectual. I cannot, as many times as I've done it, sing the yellow and blue without choking on the last line. But it is very emotional. I am proud of this department unconditionally.